Right, James, our, uh, we've got a, a new toy out today. Yeah, um, we've got a McCormick X7621 on demo today out from HAR Machinery. Uh, massive thanks to Dan for getting this out to us. Yeah. Um, keen to have a go with it, see how uh, McCormick have come on since since our 12th plate. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, we're, you know, we've, we've seen you, you're running a couple of McCormicks already. Which yeah. ones are you running? Yeah, we're on two um, XDX 165s. Um, an 09 and an 012 plate, right? Um, but they, you know, they earn their keep. And yeah, yeah. You, you, you like your red stuff because you oh, yeah. run a Massey as well, don't you? Yeah, we're all red at Oddy Pennington, so um, we, we're a mix of Massey, McCormick, and Case IH, and the Odd International. What have you got this tractor doing here today? Um, so today we've got this tractor on a Heva Combi disc. Um, She's weighing in at about three and a half ton on the back, um, and she's pulling it absolutely yeah. amazingly. Uh, and um, you would normally have the Massey yeah, doing this. Yeah, the job. 7722 so, would usually so, be doing yeah. this. So just comparing because they are around the same horsepower. Yeah, well this this is about 210. The the 77 is about 215. Um, so they how pull do about they the compare? same. They pull about the same, if not probably because it's five horse less which doesn't make much difference, I'd say the McCormick pulls better. Right, yeah. Um, you know, I'm not having to change down a gear pulling up this hill. I was going to say, it's and a it's, bank yeah, yeah. And it, it's Yeah, it's not flat. No, but, no um, not. But no, she pulls like an absolute Trojan. Um, really yeah. impressed with it, actually. So, you, so overall, you like it. What's the positives of it then, James? Um, I like definitely the four pin cab. I mean, visibility on this, you cannot fault it at all. Yeah. Um, what else do I like? I like the, um, we've got a multi-controller. We've got five different buttons that we can customize to whatever needs we want. So they could be revs, changing direction, spools. So I could be running, I've got five buttons here. I could be running two spools and a rev. Um, or I could, well, it's like a fent really. I can do, I can change them to whatever I want. So you think these McCormicks need a bit more I think they do. I think now they're definitely a big competitor in the market. Yeah. You know, they're not just your bog standard stocksman's tractor. No. Um, that sort of everyone thinks they are. You know, now they've really stepped up their game and they're lovely to drive, ever so comfy. Um, yeah, and as I said, I'd, I'd recommend them to anyone. So you put this tractor to the test, so you've had it on the on the Eva here yeah. today, you're going to try and put it on the trailer tomorrow and yeah, see hopefully, what you think of it on the road? Hopefully we'll, uh, we'll lug a bit of beat with it. Um, down down to a local sheep farmer, um, but I mean, if she handles like she does in the field on the road, then we won't have a problem. So you have quite a good relationship with HJR, then, do you, James? You bought a few machines off them before. Or? Yeah, we we originally bought one um, 09 plate McCormick off them. Um, she's our sort of hedge cutter and loader tractor. She yeah. goes very well, and over the years we've had a few internationals service through them and we've had another McCormick fitted with them um, with air brakes on them um, and they're just a real nice firm to deal with eager she's looking smart James you've got to you got to admit she's she's a smart tractor when you're looking at her from the outside uh, yeah to be fair they've I mean, got her looking nice yeah <laughs> this uh, she's on black rims and I think it's a cherry red or a, a deep red yeah, but real, it's a lovely yeah, colour it it's nice, real yeah. nice matches the tractor and obviously you've got your um, new your new front weight on it yeah the it's keeping us down just <laughs> um, <laughs> do with a bit more on the yeah front, right? could do with a bit more yeah. on the front but to be fair she's a shorter wheelbase so she's a nice compact tractor to be fair so for a day's work james is it a comfy place to sit you know that's one of the main things you got to think about yeah <laughs> oh definitely um everything here that i need is on my armrest um, you know, she's a real comfort trap to sit in. At the end of the day, when you're spending long hours in something, you want something that's comfortable. You don't want to come out with your back aching. No, and, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, you want to be able to go straight to work the next day. Um, but I mean, user friendly. You know, she's yeah. she's amazing. I've got a big screen here, all touch screen. I can um, customize anything I pretty much want. Um, and she, no, she's just, she's really, McCormick have really thought about the um, the user for this track. Yeah, and I mean, correct, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think you'd know in your McCormick, this is the 165, I think you certainly know 
if you hit a bit of rough ground, oh, yeah. you know about oh, it. Yeah, you, you definitely know about that. <laughs> I mean, has, has things improved since then? I mean, definitely. It seems um, a comfy track to sit in you know, here. But. It's only been, what, 10 years? And I mean, the leaps and bounds they've come on in that 10 years, yeah. I, I didn't expect it, to be honest. You know, I'm really, really taken back by how well how well they've come on and designed their tractors. Well, cheers for having us out the last couple of days anyway, James. Yeah, no worries. Nice to see you. And, and uh, hopefully we'll be back out in the summer to have a catch up with you boys. Yeah, a bit of combining possibly. Yeah, that's it. That's yeah, it. back on the Massey, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, you never know. You might oh, end up going you never for know. it. <laughs> oh, right, oh, well. <laughs> cheers again, James, and we'll catch yeah. up with you soon. Thank you very much. Right, Dan, well, we've been out having a look at uh, this tractor behind you the last few days. Just tell us a little bit about yourself and HJR. What is it you do? Okay, so, uh, so my name's Dan Roberts. Uh, I'm a new salesman on the road at HJR Agri. Um, the company started in 2008, uh, where they took the dealership on for McCormick later on that year, uh, alongside Lely and, and Marshall and, and uh, another sorts of machinery like that, I suppose. Um, and then we took on Pottinger, um, which has been, you know, filled a gap nicely for us. But um, we've been McCormick dealers ever since they started back in 2008. So I think that's 15 years this year. So uh... Well, we're starting to see a few more of these uh, McCormick tractors out, Dan. You certainly impressed James and Paul. Uh, they, they loved it. They had it out. They were really impressed with it. Um, the guys over at HQ in Ireland, they tried an X7624. They had that out on grass. Um, so just tell us a bit about this machine behind you, what's, what's new on it, what's different? So the, the one we've got stood behind us here today is an X7621. Um, the difference between the 7624 that you tried in Ireland would be that is a VT, uh, variable transmission. This is a Power 6, so P6. Uh, you get five robotized range changes and six power shifts in each range, giving you a 30 by 15 transmission. There's a 6.7 litre FPT engine in this tractor. Um, it's the same chassis size as the 7624. Um, the only difference being the, obviously the, the VT transmission over the P6 transmission. Shipping weight's around about eight tonne, so it's a good, good compact tractor really for, the, for 200 horsepower, which it is. So this tractor's uh, a premium spec with the full armrest and the DSM screen in the cab. Um, it is available without DSM screen and it's also available as an efficient model. So basically what that means is you lose the armrest and it goes back onto the side console. Um, you get mechanical levers rather than electric spools. Uh, it, just does, it just cheapens it up a bit for the, for the customer who doesn't necessarily want all the bells and the whistles. You know, we still try and cater for all markets really. So the other thing with this tractor now, it's uh, with the dome on the roof. You've got full telematics, so uh, there's an app you can get on your phone now. You can see where that tractor is, how much fuel it's using when it's working, you know, speed, everything else. It's more of a, a management app now because you can plan ahead with it. Um, you can also geofence your tractor in at night, so around your farm. So if that tractor crosses that fence, you get an alert on your phone saying, you know, your tractor's moving, should it be moving? Uh, you know, just a, a bit of a nice feature to to have really and, and sort of fighting against theft of, of the machines. The X7621 behind us is full steer ready, uh, plug and play with Topcon. Um, also in the dome is the uh, receiver for the Topcon guidance uh, and the screen is bolted to the side of the door just as you can see in the cab there. Um, it is full auto steer, full RTK um, and yeah plug and play ready to go pretty well. Another key feature from this tractor today is the cooling pack under the uh, bonnet there it folds completely out so actually you know clean out operations for if you've been bailing and you've got you know obviously a, a, a blocked ra a radiator it's quite handy to pull it all out um, making it uh, more user friendly which means you'd like to think the customer's more likely to do it yeah, um, yeah. if it's easier to do um, the front axle is a Carrara front axle in my opinion is the best front suspended axle on the market. Um, the, the independent, you know, suspension either side is second to none. You know, it follows the ground brilliantly. That's something Paul certainly mentioned. He, 
he was amazed by the, the comfort of, it, of the machine on the road. You yeah. literally could be driving a car. Yeah. It yeah. is so comfortable. Yeah. So this, this 7621 behind us is obviously finished in the dark red with the, uh, with the black rims. On the premium models uh, with the armrest, unless spec'd otherwise, these will be coming on this, they'll be coming on this paint job. Um, you can down spec it back to the other red if you really want to, but to be honest, it's a lot smarter. <laughs> it's it's eye catching, you know, and that's that's the key, you know. It's it's something different. It's a head turner. It makes people look as it passes. Yeah, definitely. It, uh, it catches yeah. people's attention. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, I mean, we saw that with it stood alongside uh, the old ones. Oh yeah, the, 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 the X is at Pen Pen Pennington's. Yeah. Just like whoa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they've know. come. They've come a long way. A lot different. Yeah. We've yeah. we've probably got the best product lineup that we've ever had from McCormick. Wow. Um, yeah. You know, with the, so with you the, are starting to see more then, more sales are going up with these machines? Or? There's a lot more inquiries about them. There's a lot more people interested in them. I think the, the uh, curiosity is getting the better of some people and they're actually trying them. And, yeah. uh, you know, we can use Pennington's as an example sort of thing. You know, I don't think yeah. they really thought what, they or didn't know what this tractor was really capable of until they had it. So and yeah. that's what we need to do. We need to get this tractor out on farm and get it round people and get it people showing what it can do because yeah. it can, it's very capable. Well, cheers for having us out and uh, letting us have a look around this, uh, this track for the last few days, Dan. Yep, no, that's great. Yeah, thanks for coming. I say it's, you're always welcome on our door and I say if there's any, uh, if you've got anything else you want to film, you're more than welcome to come. Brilliant. Thank yeah. you very much, Dan. Cheers. Thank you very cheers. much. Cheers.